Hey everybody, a uh, little bit different start to the video this time. I figured I'd actually show my, show my face every now and then. Uh, I hope you don't mind. I don't mind it that much, but I had it for 54 years and I kind of have to live with it, right? But uh, I just got done uh, trying to shoot a video for this here thing, the Desert Combat Pack. Uh, pretty rare, as we know, uh, kind of expensive, as I now know. Uh, I've been looking you know, on eBay for about 20 years to get one. But uh, never found one that was like in really nice condition. But then uh, a, a guy I know from actually from a Facebook group uh, called Terry in England set me up with a pretty good one. And then a few weeks later on eBay, the other one I have now, which is in pretty poor condition, uh, showed up. But I figured I'd buy that as well because I wanted to get um, some more of those vehicles in there. Uh, and also then I can do now like a double setup. Um, so this is just a regular video. I'm going to talk about what's in the box and show some of the stuff and do some little fun things at the end. And hopefully you enjoy that and I'll catch you guys in another video. Thanks. Combat packs, uh, epic sets. There was two of them, the desert combat pack and then of course the regular combat pack, if you will. Uh, these were available from about 1976 to 1980. This box says 1976. Uh, epic artwork on, on both of these. Uh, some of the figures that we see in the set, of course. Uh, the two vehicles here, they look almost friendly to each other, hanging out. Uh, the discs are, of course, not red in the set. They're tan. And you get a little picture of the outpost that's in the set as well. Inside the box, you get um, one of each of the 8th Army and the Africa Corps soldier sets. You get two of the pillboxes, bunkers, whatever you want to call them. And for those, there's actually these uh, fortifications. The pillboxes are really cool. You just open up the lid, put in a few of the discs, and then uh, just fire away. Works really good. Really cool. And of course, these, the epic vehicles, the Panzer IV with a short barrel. I guess that ends up being like an infantry gun then. And the antennas on both of these are actually here. So these are complete, it's kind of rare to find. And the Daimler armored car. Also this little smoke canister, I believe is detachable and the rack with the crate here. Sometimes they're missing as well. So these are, these look brand spanking new. Very good wheels on these as far as, you know, rolling and playing with them. Really like those. Other than that, of course, you get the outpost. Sometime missing the, what do you call these, the vases or, and then the buzzard. You get a few palm trees and some cardboard sandbag fortifications and then you have the play mat goes together like this the tracks here line up you get a little watering hole here and some crater from artillery uh, one thing it's kind of a shame that's most of the companies did back then is that you can't put this more than one way because then these tracks won't line up uh, which is kind of a shame i know lego is very good with this making sets that actually line up in almost any way with the plates they have. So that would have been nice, especially like me when I'm setting up two of these together. It would have been cool to have, uh, have these tracks actually start and begin at the, at the middle or something like that. But other, other than that, it's uh, of course, these are really nice as well. So that's what's in the set. Like I said, I'll do close-ups of the vehicles and one of the pillboxes with the fortification. So you can have a closer look. I'm not going to do one on the building because I'm going to do a video on the four sets, the different outpost buildings that Airfix released. And then I'll do the big setup with the two sets together. So you could check that out. Maybe that that'll be fun. Other than that, thanks for watching. Hopefully I catch you guys uh, in the next one. Cheers.